Every time I hear that Tiffany Haddish has said something, it's going to be one of those things. Is she actually you take it saying with a pinch of salt? Exactly. It's like, and oh, it's I'm also not too like, sure. If you meet Beyonce, you never want to be in a situation where, um, I don't know, I'd want to meet Beyonce and then we just have this great relationship where it's not like I'm trying to get ahead with your name. Right. Mm. You know, just creating stories about you because then I, I'm, I'll kind of feel like the next time she's about to invite me for an event, she'll be like, Would what is she going to lie you? about this time? Would she even invite you? According to her stepdad, Beyonce's stepdad, uh, Richard Lawson, he is saying that it was all blown out of proportion and it is not as it seems. Um, she actually used it to gain numbers which probably helped her jump up. Mm-hmm. Ooh-wee. And then others jumped on the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. I'm quoting him, by the way. And it's all a bunch of BS. It is not true. It is not real. I want, you know, to be honest, I'm yeah. a bit disappointed in Tiffany Haddish because, okay, I would understand why you want to say that. But then again, it makes me feel like, oh, what kind of person are you? Like, yeah. why are you lying? This is not the first time she's been caught lying, by the way. So in her, in her fantastic yeah. book, um, her ex-husband actually called her out for lying on him and saying, because she said she'd been abused. And her ex-husband actually called her out saying, mm. who, who did that? I want to know, what's the crazy thing you've heard someone doing for fame? Because clearly she's doing it for numbers and ratings. Some people are just about numbers and ratings. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, let me just me think too. about that because right now I, I can't... For me, the craziest thing to this day remains just, you know, deciding to just bear it all on the gram. Oh, really? That doesn't even shock me anymore. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's, know, to, me, like, to, oh, to me, that's ass, just oh, like... Oh, great. Yeah, this is 2003 okay. to, uh, Kim Kardashian. To this day, like, I don't think it's ever going to stop shocking me when I'm just like... You, you could find a very decent human. Like, Tracy has been in clothes on her Instagram all this time. Uh-huh. And then one day she realizes... Oh, my Instagram numbers have stagnated. Next thing you know, the next photo she uploads, her butt is the primary focus of the photo. And mm-hmm. then there's a child four meters away. And she's like, oh my God. That God boy is so is, great. God is so great. <laughs> that boy is so cute. <laughs> You're like, what boy? We can only see booty. What the hell are you talking about? The one I've seen that's crazy is people who do charity work. And then on the load, they're really horrible people. They're like, oh, I'm all about giving back. And, and then actually, like, ew, 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 don't touch by me. By the way, don't, I, I really the like that you're talking done. about... Um, that makes um, me so sick. Okay, maybe it's just me, but I don't really find it genuine when someone helps someone else and puts it on social media. What right. I find okay. worse like, is when you release a press release. Yeah. Like whenever these superstars do something kind, oh, and then there's an I entire press Anita, release. I helped Anita, I bought her chips. Like, I don't care. Ooh. And you know what? This, this thing is actually in the Bible, yeah. you know? Don't tender, let the other woman and the Yes, if your right hand gives, don't let the left one even know. Yeah. It's actually in the Bible. So like I don't understand why people will call Francis, for example, who's a camera guy, and tell tell ah, oh, you know what? Tell the entire Nairobi that I am funding yeah. this. And Let me this. tell you why. I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you why, okay? Because if someone like Kim Kardashian says, I'm giving towards kids without iPhones, right? Let's say that's her charity. Because <laughs> wow. it's something she would do. And like, that's the only wow. thing. Because that's something I feel like she'd just be like, they need iPhones. Let's give kids uh, iPhones, right. right? And then she decides to do that. She has such a following that other little fans will now decide, oh, yeah, I want to be involved. I also want to look like a giver. And they'll give. Yes, the premises of it is horrible and she's doing it for the likes and popularity. But the giving part I, I'm not gonna you know give as much as you can no matter how you're doing it but I still don't get the people the famous ones who are like oh I don't I don't touch that kid and then you see them there on Instagram chilling right. in this place you know giving back